Today overclocking tutorial is based on this computer. Now if you haven't seen this one, you can find it on my Instagram. You might want to check to go and check that one out. It was like a nice deal and it has an i5 6400T which is a low powered CPU but it doesn't really matter, alright? Uh, this tutorial is about every 6th gen locked CPU, alright? Now you just get into the BIOS and you have to have the proper version of your BIOS, alright? You might have to downgrade it, just do a quick Google search uh, because it's motherboard dependent. Now again, I've talked about this a little bit more in depth, in depth on my Instagram, so you might want to check it out. Now, um, you simply want to, first of all, go into the OC settings. This again will vary on your board. I currently have an MSI Gaming um, M3 and set the OC mode to expert. At this point, you want the CPU ratio of line mode to be set to all core and the CPU ratio, you know, if you set it directly to the max. In this case, it is 22. Now, the ratio mode, you want it to be fixed. And the ring ratio, you know, just manually set it to 22 as well. Now, uh, you want to disable all of those, you know, EIS, Intel to Robust. Uh, and, uh, you know, we are, we are gonna video the clocking uh, with the base clock. So, on this tutorial, we are going for a 4.4 GHz overclock, which is double what this CPU would normally do. But now, before locking it in, you want to enable the XMP, alright? Okay, now you want to set your base clock to, you know, in this case, 200, but, I mean, start lower, please. And uh, here's the tricky part. Now, your memory will be overclocked as well, so you want to downclock this one. Now, I know that 2400 um, will be stable because this RAM is 2400 MHz RAM, so I'm gonna set that one in. We are not gonna turn the timings because it's not needed. Now, here on the V core, you want to go for around 1.3, like uh, 1.3 to 1.4 is completely safe. And now, um, on this board, I've seen that like in um, offset mode, it works way, way better. Uh, so I'm gonna use that one, and I found that for my CPU, 0.35 um, is perfect. You know, for uh, for this overclock. Now, as you can see, it comes out in red, but it's perfectly safe. Now, after that, you want to go over and go to CPU features and disable a couple of things. Now, the first one you wanna look at is the C states, those have to be disabled. And the CFG lock, disabled. Now you want to go over to the FCLK. Now usually you want to set this one as high as possible, but the BCLK, you know, multiplies that one too. So you want to set that one to the lowest possible, in this case, 400 megahertz. All right. Well, we are pretty much done. As you can see, it's not that difficult. Now we can just, you know, hit apply and we will have our 4.4 GHz overclock on a locked CPU and again this one is a hundred percent more performance in this case because the base clock is 2.2 now this CPU has been deleted and so under full load with this voltage um, you know it stays at around 60 degrees pretty much like under interval test I usually you know stress test with that program but you know prime 95 is perfectly fine so yeah, that's basically it. Now we're going to do a quick boot and take a look at what the performance looks like. By the way, if you're doing this, you cannot use your iGPU and you cannot read the temperature per core of the CPU. That's why you need a dedicated graphics card, but I mean, most people use it anyway. And yeah, you will have to rely on the package core temp, which is perfectly fine. I mean, um, reading the temp per core doesn't really mean anything, so yeah.
Now, as you can see, the computer has been trained around, because we hit the XMP and also modified it. And that's why it took a while, but hey, here we go. As you can see, we are at 4.4 gigahertz, 1.35 volts. Um, I can also run a quick bench if you want to. And yeah, as you can see, the single core performance is really, really nice. Of course, this one is a four core CPU without hyper threading, so the multi threading score won't be that impressive, but hey, 500 and 32 in single is quite a lot. I mean, we are at pretty much i7 8700K territory for gaming, which is great. Like, most games still are, you know, used mostly for cores, so that's great. And yeah, uh, I will show you how to read the temperatures if you have been this mod. Uh, now, I will be using the hardware monitor, but you know, whatever program you use, it's the same. Now, the temps you want to be looking at are those ones, you know, temp in three. And as you can see, we are at around 54 degrees, but we just started, and you know, it goes up to around uh, 60. Now, I will show you a, a little bit, you know, closer so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right. Now, as you can see, this temperature, you know, temp in free is the core package temp and it is the one you want to be looking at. All right, guys, the tutorial is finished. Drop a comment down below, drop a sub if you want. And if you want more content like this, go check out my Instagram. See you.